Today we are sadly leaving Koh Tao. This little gem in the Gulf of Thailand has seeped into our souls. The beautiful beach, marine life, and charm will be missed. But now it's time to move to the quiet island of Koh Yoi Noi, where we get to surround ourselves with the stunning views and even more incredible wildlife. So please stick around and join us on this week's adventure. This is the story of a family of four traveling the world as often as possible, sharing their adventures. Join us all on this season as we find exciting new places to explore, living this crazy life on the go. Please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and then also get notified when we release new videos. It really helps us out a lot. It's a little bit different. You're kind of doing more packing than I am. Oh, Although really. you usually do the sucky down part. I do the sucky down part. So thoughts? On which part? On this place and leaving and... I wish we'd have spent more time here. Really? Yeah. I'd like to have actually got to explore the island a bit. Then they just kind of fell to where we couldn't really do much here, which is a damn shame. Yeah. You know, we didn't get to... We snorkeled around here, which is awesome. I mean, it's it's just awesome. Yeah. Um, we didn't get to scuba, I mean, which is cool. I got sick last time, you got sick this time. But yeah, I wish we'd have stayed here another two or three days to, so to kind of cruise around the island. It's weird how much we really like it here. Yeah, I like it. It's so clean. It's, well. Compared to everywhere we've been the last month and a half, it is the cleanest place I've seen. Yeah really distracting yeah so. <laughs> it's a rainy day and we are checking out of the hotel and heading off to another island we need to take the ferry um, and then we take the um, we fly to Phuket and then from Phuket we get picked up and go to another island so um, we're sad to be leaving Koh Tao we'll have to definitely come back someday for sure Thank you. All right, Des. Ah. How do you feel about the color clear? Uh, I don't really care much about that color. So we just got to Kusumui and we're waiting on our driver and then we are going to head straight to the airport and fly to Phuket. So what do you think of the boat ride? It wasn't that bad, was it? Just a boat ride. It kind of started bumpy and a little choppy, but... I got a little seasick. <laughs> you did get a little seasick. It got better when we went Yar, down. You just need to get your sea legs, matey. I want a boat. I want one of those right there. See that catamaran? That's the one I want. Right there. What? The leopard? Yep. The leopard. Is that little tiny one right there? We're not riding on anything big. <laughs> it's that really, really, really small one. This is the boats we want to ride on. We made it to Phuket. Now we're going to go and get on the boat to Koyoi Noi. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, as I always do. And I don't know how long the boat ride is, so we'll have to check it out. It was a rainy day the scenery was beautiful the trip was about 45 minutes and no car train or boat ride would be complete without the kids completely missing the view by taking a nap i don't think we're in kansas anymore toto what do you mean <laughs> she doesn't know what that means we're gonna have to watch wizard of oz huh i have a feeling we're not in kansas anymore This is pretty nice. It looks like paradise. I wonder why if that's why they call it paradise. Wow. I wish it was sunny. Think. It was nice. It was nice. It 
was so nice to wake up this morning to the sound of rain and it's just kind of been a little bit cloudy and overcast but that's okay because when the sun comes out it's really really hot and I mean this place is absolutely gorgeous <laughs> sorry I keep fogging up I mean this is our view this morning I mean it's just stunning Joel and I were laughing because you know, our villa has its own pool and the kids' villa has its own pool. And it's right here on the beach. <laughs> and we're going to the big pool. <laughs> Instead of swimming in our own pools. But that's okay. Hopefully the kids can find some kids to play with. They haven't played with anybody in a while. Um, and so, and there's a lot of kids here. So hopefully, maybe they'll make some friends and be able to play around a little bit. And uh, just enjoy the relaxing day because that's kind of what we need today. While swimming in the pool and enjoying the beautiful day, I caught something move out of the corner of my eye. We could not believe what we were seeing. To our surprise, it was an Asian water monitor lizard. This lizard has made the resort its home, and it's not hard to see why. Asian water monitor lizards are native to South and Southeast Asia. Males average between four to six feet long and can weigh between 40 and 90 pounds. The largest ever recorded was 10 and a half feet long and weighed 165 pounds. Monitor lizards are also very fast and venomous, although they're not harmful to humans. However, I decided to keep my distance and respect this impressive reptile from afar. Before you turned it off? <laughs> no, I already turned it off and he scared me. It's lucky I didn't pee. You're in a pool. I'm pretty sure you already have. No, I haven't yet. Give it time. Uh, yeah, that's a bummer that I missed you before you did it. <laughs> My kids think it's funny. That was hilarious. That thing was strange. <laughs> we were not able to get that on video. Let me explain what happened with River, right? So mom was videotaping with the camera, like like River. You... Super stealth mode, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, sure. I'm sure. like filming it. Yeah, like rivers are here, and this is what dad did. This oh, is here's the reenactment. Dun dun. 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 Dun <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So between the lizard and the snail and the butterfly and the rain, hopefully tonight we'll see if we can get some um, shots of the bats. What kind of bats are they? Fox bats. Fox bats. And they're huge. We saw them last night. So yeah, this place is all like wildlife. It's really fun to be in the pool while it's raining. It's actually warmer to be in the water than it is to be out of the water. Joel made me go make Bloody Marys. Because he didn't like the way it was made before. So he's like, if you make it, I'll drink it. That's <laughs> so I have to admit, I still have to make drinks on vacation. Oh, poor thing. Poor, poor thing. However, will you manage? I don't know. Let's go back to work in a week. Oh. Work sucks. Support us on Patreon. Yeah, I think I'm going to quit. <laughs> Those weird birds with the weird heads are down here. The yeah. The hornbill bird is the island's mascot and seems to live as one with the people, much like most of the wildlife here on this island. Oh, here comes one. Let's see if I can get him. There he is. Oh, I didn't realize he was so close. The rest of the day, we explored the resort, taking in its relaxing vibe. At night, we enjoyed a friendly tournament of ping pong, which consisted of chasing the ball more than actually volleying it. And we also loved observing the many different types of bats coming out to feed. Whoa, she did it! <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I'm actually that getting was actually cool. I'm actually getting really good at it. Are you? I'm gonna try again. Mom's specialty, hitting something away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. You just said 
get dressed, brush your teeth, and brush your hair. My name is Joel. 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 G.I. Yep. Joel. <laughs> G.I. Joel. Hello. With the L. Yeah. And you, ma'am? I'm Jamie. Jamie. What's your name, little girl? River. <laughs> River. River. Mm-hmm. River, like that. Yep. yep. Yeah. River. Yep. yep. Hey, you. Desmond. 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 Yeah, or you can call him Des. Des. Or Desmond, mm -hmm. though. Desmond, easy for me. Yeah. Yes. Desmond's easy. I come from the village. You come from the village? Yeah. Sometimes you say the English with me. I'm so sorry. I call my English. Your English is great. Thank you. I, I think it's better than my Thai. And today the water is up here, I'm so sorry. And then if you go see the big fish, all this, we don't, we don't have, okay. we have only small. Okay. Uh, sometimes you can see about this, it's long term. Okay. And then the grouper, okay. yeah, because on, on the island we have a lot of fishermen. Oh. And then the fishermen come to catch the fish every day. Yeah. We have smaller, but not dangerous for you. Them friendly. We we do, we like small fish. It's okay. Yeah. I like being a small. <laughs> it's a little cold. The boat trip took about 30 minutes. We navigated by several islands to observe the power of wind and sea, and the erosion they cause, creating these very large caves. These swiftlet caves are strictly off limits as they are a natural preserve area. The swiftlets produce saliva when making their nest. It acts as a glue forming a white bird's nest cup. Bird's nest is considered a superfood, rich in calcium, potassium, phosphorus, iron, and iodine. In fact, the Chinese have been harvesting it for around 1500 years. Because of its over harvesting and super high price, Thailand is taking steps to preserve these animals and their caves. Yeah, look how it's just been beaten by the okay. rain and the water. That's fine. Good? This was the very first time that we swam between rocks. And today was a bit choppy, but a really fun experience. Even if the clarity wasn't the best, it was still very colorful and lively. yellow lipped sea crate. It is different than a sea snake because of its paddle like tail which helps it swim through the water. Holding their breath, they forage for small fish and prey among the coral. And since I hate snakes, I let Joel do all the filming. And even though sea crates are mostly harmless, I was on high alert, which Joel took as an opportunity to mess with me, of course. stop was just as incredible with some very friendly fish. Oh, 
Water's nice and warm, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty nice, isn't it? <laughs> gotta flow with it. Gotta, gotta go with the flow? Mm -hmm. It's a clam. <laughs> it's a clam. Oh, yeah. Thoughts on this, Dad? It's cool. I like these islands. Yeah. I would like to own one for free. <laughs> for free. Yeah. If anybody wants to gift us an island. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do it. We do want it. our own island. We need a secret base. Yeah, right? Put our evil lair on it. That's what you all should do. Let's go join Patreon that so that we can island. purchase an island I'm in Thailand. Get my life, man. Please join. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. <laughs> it's really hard to sit up straight because <laughs> the water is moving me. <laughs> all right. So chicken wrap. Salad. Lettuce. And last but not least. Banana. Banana and like a tangerine. I'm not sure what that is. Banana. The next twin Stefani. Banana. Banana. so dad can jump on. Can't He's gonna show us how it's really done. You how, you, how you really got a boat. Whoa. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how it's done. How it's done. That's how it's done. We took in the last bit of this place. 
three days in this paradise flew by and we couldn't believe that we were already leaving. We were so thankful that we were surrounded by so much incredible wildlife and marine life. But now it's time to pack and make our way to Phuket. Join us next time in Phuket as we finish our time here in Thailand, a country that has far exceeded our expectations. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button before heading over to Patreon, where you can support our efforts even further. You get exclusive content, ad-free videos, and so much more just for showing your love. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.